I um, have it all fared out, caulked it all. The caulking was uh, was just a pleasant activity all the way around. So I've got it caulked. Um, as you can see, I'm laying out uh, my scrap plywood from the build. This is all cutoffs, and um, trying to lay them out so I can use them all for the top rails so um, this is where I'm at at this point and I'm gonna cut braces for the transom and um, tie all this in probably do it about eight inches wide I'm gonna end up putting uh, basically a deck renovator a kind of high build snappy plasticized deck stuff or whatever it is that they sell um, on top of it so I'm not even going to glass it or saturate it or anything and see how that holds up so it's just a kind of an experiment boat with different finishes to see how it, see how it works and I think it'll be and fine I just wanted to show you how I do these top caps I laid this on I pushed it forward measured even distance from the framing, pushed it forward, made my mark, cut it out, and then I slid it back a half inch past where I had it. That leaves me this exposed edge here. What I will do is I will come back and I will take a piece of solid wood that I ripped down and I'll glue it on the outside edge of this plywood. And then I'll ferret down smooth, round it off, ferret down, paint it. That way it protects the edge of my plywood. I will do the same thing when I do this. Now, what I did with this is I left a gap, a glue joint basically, and I took a framing square, you can see it there, laid it along this edge, made it so this piece covered. I got about an inch and a half here and I want it probably eight inches for my top cap so I just laid it on cut this this just for this piece happened to be two and a half twelve cut the same angle on that side screwed it in right here and I'll take the pencil and I'm gonna run the pencil down it make my mark cut it off move it in make a spacer block however wide I want this and I'll run a parallel line down it and cut it off in place inside the boat that's how I do I got the pieces fit in remember I'm setting it back I laid them on scribed it out and just slid them in some cut my joints all of it's pretty even across there get a little tight here that's all right I'm gonna glue that strip on fair it off so obviously you can see that I have not cut my insides there's a little stiffener block for the transom each one of these will get a butt block each seam what I did do was I used all the scrap this is all the scrap from the sides so I wasn't going out and buying new plywood to do this. Well, as you can see, I'm a little narrow here. And because of the cut here. So I'm taking my narrowest point, measured it out already, eight and a quarter. And I'm going to make a scribe block. Basically, it'll be a piece of wood that comes across and lips down some. Sit it on here. Put the pencil on it, scribe my line out, and cut it left out. Leftover stock from building another boat. It's yellow pine. I've had it forever, it seems like. But um, what I'm going to do with it is end up putting it on the inside. So I'll run it in, notch it out for this back transom support, then I'll raise it up there, 
kind of fit all that in. And <clears throat> that'll be my, um, that'll be what it looks like. I might rip it down just a tad bit narrower. But, um, that'll be the finished edge of it when I'm done. This is my grinding attire. Not much wind today, but when it does kick up, it blows the dust in my eyes. So, that's what I wear. Alright, you can see, got that piece on the inside there. Looking stellar, right? Alright, I left it proud. Um, a good bit. So, I'm going to go in with the wood grinder. My favorite tool. And hammer away at it. I could do it with a belt sander. But that takes too long. I'm not into that. So, we're going to hit it with that grinder. Grind it off. I use the PL Premium Fast Grip. Stuff's hard. I did use it to try to fill it in through here. That was failed. It bubbled, scraped it out. So um, I'm going to. I mean, I guess it's kind of good. I mean, it still gave me a protective edge on the plywood. You can see I got it off pretty good. When I'm doing this, I'm watching, I, I'm not watching the wood I'm grinding. I'm watching the inside glue line. And once it start, once it disappears, I stop. Once it gets down to this, I know I better be real light on the touch. And then when I hit this, I can stop. That's what I'm doing. See, I'm a little down here, but I'll hit it all with a belt sander and roll it all off. It'll look good. But that's what I'm watching. I'm watching that inside glue line to get it to disappear. And then, I know I'm close. You see I had a nail shoot up yesterday, which always makes me happy. So I'll probably try to punch that back out, but I doubt it'll go, that PL Premium Fast Grip. I had three screws shear off trying to move them after they set in that stuff. Good stuff. I hope it's good stuff. I'm basing the whole boat on it. If it all falls apart, then... We'll go to another project, or product. So, now I'm going to belt sand. Here it is. Um, I don't know. It always goes faster than you think when you're doing it, but I'd say 45 minutes. Sanded, rounded off. Scrap. All this was scrap, leftover scrap from the boat haul. If I were doing this, I'm going to have a seam, transition seam right here. You can see it right there. It just comes up from the bow to it. If I were doing it again and I had a full width piece four foot that distance I would break my seam back here and that would roll a transition through here um, didn't work out that way as I said budget scrap that's the way it is also I would probably glass this top but I'm not going to I'm going to try something new and I'm going to use a deck renovating product and uh, and see how it works we've used it on another boat got my top cap sanded did a little bit of patching on there um, this is duck back deck and dock restore uh, I was hoping it'd be a little bit more textured so I'll have to use a lot bigger nap roller to see if I can get it to texture up some We've used the Rust-Oleum for this purpose <clears throat> and it leaves a great texture as a non-skid.